All right, folks. So in this video, we're going to take a little bit of a deeper look at the micro PA 50 and what we're concerned about. And I've got some adapters on here, but if you take a look at the back of this, you have your TRX and this is where your radio would feed into this amplifier. And then you have your antenna output. And I just have some adapters on here. Let me go ahead and take this one off. And the reason I have these adapters on here is I had to test my setup. And uh, this is the input to the amplifier. And what we had seen in some cases is that not in bypass mode. So we'll test bypass mode a little bit, but what we're really going to test is that when we run a signal through the amplifier circuitry and then out the antenna port, some folks are reporting an SWR elevation on this particular input or input impedance is what it's called. So we're going to connect this up and we're going to test it. We're going to use an IC705 from ICOM as our radio or signal generator that's going to go in here. This signal is going to come out and it's going to run through an SWR power meter. So we're going to be able to read that. And then we're going to feed that uh, SWR power meter into a cell wave dummy load. So let me get that set up and we'll start testing. All right, folks. So what we have here is the ICOM 705. And this is connected into the SWR and power meter. And the SWR and power meter comes out and goes into the micro PA 50 amplifier, which then goes into the cell wave dummy load. And what we're going to do is we're going to key up the 705 and we're going to measure the reflected uh, SWR that comes or reflected power that comes out of the micro PA 50. So in this test, what we're doing is we're testing the input of the micro PA 50 for reflected power, essentially. So what we have is the radio set up on the 80 meter band, which should be just fine. And I'm going to key up and we're going to see what we see. And what you can see is, is that our forward power is around one watt. And so at one watt in, we're getting about 42.943 watts out of the PA. The PA50 is reading an SWR of 1, but into the amplifier, we are reading an SWR of 1.23. And what I want to do is I want to turn this off, and then we are going to put the micro PA into bypass mode. And then we're going to key up, and then we're going to see that uh, our forward power here is saying 1.8, the micro PA saying about a watt and a half. This is reporting 1 to 1 SWR, and this is reporting 1 to 1 SWR. So what we notice there is that when we go through the amplification circuits on the micro PA50, we get a little bit of SWR, but it's not a big deal. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this, and then we are going to switch to a different band. And uh, let's go over to 40 meters and go ahead and key up. And let me just set this to ready. All right, now we are on the 40 meter band and notice we're in bypass mode this time. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to key up. You can see we got about a watt, uh, 1.16 watts of forward power. SWR is one to one as read here on the SWR meter. And we have an SWR of one on the micro PA 50. So let's go ahead and turn the amplifier on key up and at one watt you can see we're getting about 38 out now i can adjust that and i'll do that so you can see that but we're getting a little bit of swr here at 1.22 i think that's okay let's do this and turn our power up so let's just go to 25 percent so now we're at 25 percent. should be around two and a half watts <clears throat> and we're getting 2.29 our swr went up a little bit and we're starting to get some warnings here on the SWR and power meter because we're going over the 50 watt output level, which it doesn't recommend. So let's go ahead and turn this down to about 20. Key up and uh, there we are in a good safe state. All right, turn that off and then let's go ahead and check a different band and uh, let's go here to 18 megahertz. Now, when we key up, you can see that the micro PA 50 does automatically adjust its filtering, which is fantastic. And you can see we're getting about 22 watts out. So we're going to adjust that. Our forward power is 1.52 and our SWR is going up as we go higher in frequency. So we were at around 1.5 on the SWR scale. Let's just go ahead and turn up to 25% power and see what happens. Still around 28 watts. So let's go a little bit higher than that. 
Let's go up to 35. Now we're at 35 watts out through the amplifier. We have 3.23 forward, 1.36 SWR. Let's go ahead and go up to 45. And we're around 42 watts, and our forward power is around 4 watts. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, and the SWR to me seems manageable. I wanted to check it because some folks are reporting high SWR on the input of the amplifier. We're just not seeing that right now. We are seeing some SWR, but not super high SWR. Oops. Getting all ahead of myself here. Let's take a look at uh, 20 meters. So around four watts in, four and a quarter in, getting 46 out. Micro PA50 is reading 1 to 1 SWR from the dummy load, which it should. Our SWR down here into the input of the amplifier is 1.39. Probably not that big of a deal. Let's go to 10 megahertz and see what we see. Okay, you can see we just tripped the amp at too high of a power input. So let's go ahead and reset that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn this down to, let's say, 35. And let's key up and see what we get. Still tripping it at 3 watts. And uh, we just actually <laughs> went the wrong direction on our, on our testing for the bands, but that's okay. So there you can see one and a half watts in is getting us around 37 out. Uh, we still have some SWR down here, but not a big deal. All right, let's go to 21 megahertz. And this says USB, and we want to change that to ready. So at a watt and a half in, our, um, our power level is still pretty low on this thing. So let's go ahead and adjust that up. Let's go to 35. So three and a half watts, give or take in, is getting us around 30 watts out. So we can go a little bit higher than that. Let's go up to 45. Key up. <clears throat> so four and, a half, four and a quarter watts in is getting us around 37 watts out. We could probably go a little bit higher to get around 40, 45. SWR is looking pretty good at 1.7. I don't know why I keep hitting that button. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, let's say, 24 megahertz. Go into ready mode. All right, and we were tripping it. So our forward, our forward power out's around four and a quarter watts. And we are going slightly over 50 uh, in terms of power output. So we can turn that down a little bit. Let's go to 40. Now we're 40. We're getting 51.2. So let's go down to 35. Key up again. And we're getting around 1.35 uh, in terms of SWR into the amplifier input. I don't think that's a big deal. Maybe you do, but to me, it seems like it's not really a problem. And let's just go ahead. I keep hitting the wrong button. Let's go ahead and hit uh, 10 meters or 28 megahertz. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to key up. And so 3.16 watts out is getting us 41.9. Again, the micro PA50 seems to be seeing the correct SWR, which is nice. We did the firmware update on this in a previous video. So when we key up, we're seeing 1.21 as terms of our SWR. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give that a pass. I uh, appreciate everybody watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them uh, below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching, everybody.